right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. Um, it's just a short session this week, um, a short Saturday morning session on the canal. In the last blog, when you seen a struggle on the on the river, I did post a couple of pictures of a session that I did on a Sunday morning with um, my cousin Baz, and he had a small pike about well three pound. He said it was about seven, but <laughs> we'll take three. Um, we're out again with him today, hoping to get him another pike, one you know slightly bit bigger, um, with a bit of luck. The canal conditions on the canal, like I said on the on the last canal video, change all the time. And la on the last video we had that half clarity. I'll put a link in the top here to that video, so you know if you want to check it out, you can check it out. The ca the canal had half clarity today. It is gin clear. I can see my bait on the bottom in the edge. Um, we put the baits in at first light, and as you'll see in a minute, um, you can see the clarity on the canal. So I'll just show you now that little clip. Um, that I've recorded a few seconds earlier on the clarity. Remember last time I said half clarity. This time, as you can see, that's what's going, going. I don't know whether you can see that smelt there on the bottom. I don't know whether you can make it out. It is definitely there. I can see it dead clear with my own eyes, the smelt on the bottom. And obviously that changes the way we fish. When it's clear, I do think they don't come in as, as more confidently. So yeah, move the baits out a bit and we'll see how we get on. Hopefully we can get our, our bads a slightly bigger pike and yeah, we'll see how we get on. But it's going to be hard. I think one fish between us today would be a good result. Right, you'll, right, you'll have to excuse the oil on the water. One thing that I did do when I started, I put my bait in the same spot a foot from the bank. Um, with it being that clear that I don't think the pike are going to be coming in that close. They're not going to feel that's safe. You've got to remember that from when they're very young, the biggest enemy to a fish normally comes from above, from a heaven. If it's gin clear, they don't want to be by the edge. And a pike doesn't know how big it is, in my opinion. Um, it still has the same fear, as excuse the plane. It still, it still has the same fear when it's 20 pound as it does when it's a couple of pounds you know a couple of ounces so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to place that bait on the edge of the shelf in that slightly deeper water because i think the pike are going to be patrolling along that inside shelf on the canal today and not right down under my feet due to the fact like i said it's so clear that's just my theory on it everyone has to have, you have to have a, a theory behind what you do and that's just the theory that i think i don't think they'll be down the edge so i'm just going to place it a bit further out Right, so just had the wobbling rod in, in the edge and just zoomed off. Same. Just seen the end of the rod tipping away and looks to be like a near double figure pike. So I'm just going to get it in and see where he goes. Right, um, just got the fish on the bank. I say come on the wobble in the edge. Nice nine pound pike. Just under nine pound. Nice start to the morning. I say hopefully we can get one more fish. Now I am out with, with our buddy. See if we can get one. Got a you know rod out on a dead bait, but the wobbling rod again comes up trumps. Like I said in the last episode, it's a fantastic tool to have in your army and catches so many bonus fish on a hard day. I said the water's gin clear. It was going to be a hard day. This could be the only fish we get because we've only got the morning. So yeah, let's get this lovely fish back. And yeah, see if we can get one more. Right, as I say, again, always giving plenty of time to rest in the margin. Work methodically with them, you know, unhook them, put them back in, get your pictures, put them back in, and then give them time to rest. In plenty of breaks, and obviously, you can see the gills, they're ticking over and say so she'll let me know when she's ready to go back just leave her there till she's ready and say so when she can write herself and hold herself up in the water and say so she'll let you know when she's ready to go back to give them time there's nothing spoiling and say so if you get another run there you go you see she's kicking that's the difference you put her straight back in you know when she can't write herself You know that's when you have problems but while she's in the net and say we give her a chance to recuperate 
lovely fish is the pike. I know it's not the most colourful of pike, but with canals you do get a mixture of colours. But they are all have their unique beauty. Like I say, she's nearly ready to go back. Right, I'll quickly go over the rig that just caught that pike. I say I've used it, I've covered it before on other videos. It's just a simple um, light spinning rod. Um, the braid is 60 pound um, Esox Piker braid, I think it is. And then it's down just to a wire trace, simple wire trace on the line. What you do on the canal, I always use a smelt, just the right size bait. Top hook top hook goes in the top of its head like that and the back hook put a bend in the tail and the back hook goes in it like that and that type of profile on it and what happens when you tease it through the water sink and draw or wobbling depending on what you call it comes up in the water falls up in the water Falls. and what it does it can be good for catching you know like jack pike because they like the chase the bigger pike don't seem to like to chase the bait as much um, wobble it up and it looks like a dying fish so it'll go up 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 and drop and then when it falls to the bottom at the end and lies on the bottom it looks like a dead fish the pike that's followed it in comes in and eats the meal um, like I said in the previous video I think they do it because obviously when a fish is dead it can't put its fins up like a perch to choke the pike as it eats it and I think that's why a lot of them wait till the fish is dead to eat it that's just my theory on it but it's one that as simple as it gets for catching pike just a wire trace tied to your line but effective obviously you let it drop on the bottom in the edge for a couple of seconds and the floor and you're looking for the, the line moving off give it a countdown strike um, a couple of seconds and strike into the bait and you can catch some nice fish but that's the one that caught that fish today Right, our Baz, again on the wobble, just teaching him a bit of wobbling, I just got into one, and say it's taking line, Big no, no, just take your time, just keep reeling it, just keep the right. pressure, just keep the pressure on mate, just keep the pressure on, there you go, mate. Well done. Well done, mate. That's a nice roach. <laughs> well done. <laughs> as you've seen there, our Baz got his PB. You've seen him playing it, and then as we were unhooking it and stuff, the other rod shot off, and my other cousin Louis came up to see him, and he's smashed his PB with a £2-ish pike. So, yeah, as I say, not easy to deal with two on the bank, and especially when it, if it's somebody new to fishing. But he did fantastic, learning the wobbling, and he's got a result there in an eight pound pike made up for him. So we're going to give him a good rest, and then we're going to try the best we can to get a couple of pictures on the bank. Um, I'll try and get a picture of them both with the pikes, but we're going to give him a good rest first. Right, there's our, our Louis with his first ever pike. He's done dead well holding it up for the picture. I'll put a picture up in a minute. But that's his first ever pike. And yeah, how different it is from when I was a kid. We don't have any pictures or anything like that. All videos back then. He watches the videos every week. Well done, Louis, mate. Well done. There's our Baz with his first, second pike. Eight pound. 
won't keep it out too long and he's doing fantastic I consider it's only second pike to hold it kneeling down so comfortably well done mate fantastic looking fish and well done he's been listening to everything we've been saying picking up the hints and tips and that's one come on the wobble for him a fantastic pike just under nine pound and we'll get it back Right, the, lad, the lads have done fantastic there, I'll talk about it in a minute, how fantastic they've done, that's Louis' little pike, three, just over three pounds I think it was, <laughs> Let's get, he's going to go straight back because he's been, Bye. been kicking. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, there's Baz's pike. Just over, was it eight pound bars? Was it? Yeah. Fantastic for your second fish. Yeah. And he's done absolutely fantastic there. He's done absolutely fantastic. So to be dealing with a fish like that and holding it up like he has done, done fantastic. Let's get this beautiful fish back. Back she goes. Right, um, we've just put them two fish back. We come up here this morning with my cousin and my other cousin come up to see us and the other rod went when we were photographing um, Baz's pike. So, you know, I could see it was tugging at the bait. So it's a small fish, so I let Louis have the fish and they've both caught a fish today, which is fantastic. I must admit, it's not, I don't, this is new for me taking people fishing. I'm normally only really have to worry about myself. So I don't know what the footage is going to be like from that. Um, it might just be the pike on the mat that I recorded. I did record some footage just in case it was it was difficult to deal with them. And I think we did really well dealing with both pike on the bank. Um, rested them, took the pictures, got some nice pictures for them to remember the day. And yeah, there's not much footage of the takes, but you've got to, like you say, you've got to understand that I'm talking him through the striking and stuff like that. So the footage is a bit iffy, but hopefully i can put together a video from it this video isn't about my fishing it's about you know trying to take a young lad fishing who wants to learn so yeah hopefully the footage is okay